Scott Boris is the most successful agent in baseball and really all of sports because, well, he simply wins. He gets the job done and gets what he's setting out for when it comes to his clients, at least the vast majority of the time. Sure, there are some outliers, but in the end, Boris usually gets his players the most money possible. It's what he's known for. Even if he and his players decide to hold out and stay on the market as spring training gets underway, Boris still usually ends up winning the standoff. The other teams blink first and Boris gets the contract he and his client were looking for. That's been the narrative and story for years. Until now. This offseason, other than the big Otani and Yamamoto contracts, has been mostly slow, and a lot of free agents took a long time to sign, and some still are, with a lot of those free agents being Boris clients. But again, things are a little different than before. Five years ago, both Manny Machado and Bryce Harper waited until spring training to sign their massive contracts. Machado signed his in late February, with Harper not getting his deal with the Phillies until two weeks after that. But the point is, even though they waited and held out so long, they still got more or less what they were looking for. Harper was represented by Boris, and Machado was with Dan Lozano of MVP Sports Group. And them waiting as long as they did, if anything, helped solidify getting what they wanted. Skip ahead five years to where we currently stand in 2024, and things are a bit different. Teams, I would say, are being a little smarter, less reckless, if you want to use that word, and just simply aren't taking what Scott Boris and these players are asking for. It's a thing other agents do as well. Like I said, Machado was with another agency, but Boris has become known to do this the most. To have his players wait as long as they possibly can for a team to blink and bite and give them what they want. Unfortunately for Boris, that's not happening this time around. I mentioned in the past pretty frequently why some of these Scott Boris clients don't deserve what they're asking for, and it's all pretty obvious as to why, but they still ask for the moon and wait because it's worked in the past, but as the world keeps spinning, it's become clear that it's just not going to work now, and two of Boris's top free agents have now signed for a lot less money in years than they were initially going for. A week ago, Cody Bellinger, who was reported to be looking for more than $200 million, finally signed back with the Cubs after waiting as long as he did on a three-year contract worth $80 million. I actually do think it's the perfect contract for both sides for the situation Bellinger is in. I also talked about that recently, but basically Bellinger can take things on a year by year basis because he has the ability to go back out on the free agent market after each season. He and Boris have the opportunity to go out and get a bigger, better deal if he's great. But the bottom line is, Boris kind of had to take the L here and finally accept that a short term contract was the only one he was going to get. And that looks to be the same for everyone. Matt Chapman, who nobody seemed to want, everyone seemed to forget about him, had only been linked to the Giants. That was basically his entire market, it seemed. And they obviously were not going to give him a massive deal, and so after waiting until the very beginning of March, Boris blinked first again and had to just accept the Giants' short-term offer. Chapman just signed with the Giants for the same exact deal as Bellinger, except just for less money overall. Instead of three years, $80 million, it's three years, $54 million, and he also has the opt-outs after the first two seasons, so he can become a free agent after every year if he wants to and feels he can get a bigger, better contract back out on the market. And even though these guys haven't signed yet, it's also now being reported that Blake Snell and Jordan Montgomery are open to taking a shorter term deal after looking for a long term one. These are all players who wanted a big and long contract. Bellinger, Chapman, Snell, Montgomery, and none of them are likely getting that. Incoming memes about Scott Boris being washed, but in all seriousness, I think it's very appropriate the market is going this way. None of those players would be smart to invest a ton of years into. At least with a guy like Bryce Harper when he signed with Philly, it made sense. It made more sense, you know? But these guys aren't as promising to commit to for as long as they want to be committed to and as a result teams aren't letting scott boris win the staring contest let me know what you think thank you for watching and i'll see you soon